The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Depths of Humiliation For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that hath the power of death, that is the devil. Hebrews 2, verse 14 Wondrous combination of man and God. He humbled himself to man's nature. He did this, that the scripture might be fulfilled, and the plan was entered into by the Son of God. Knowing all the steps of his humiliation, that he must descend to make an expiation for the sins of a condemned, groaning world, what humility was this? It amazed angels. The tongue can never describe it. The imagination cannot take it in. The eternal word consented to be made flesh. God became man. It was a wonderful humility. But he stepped still lower. The man must humble himself as a man to bear insult, reproach, shameful accusations, and abuse. There seemed to be no safe place for him in his own territory. He had to flee from place to place for his life. He was betrayed by one of his disciples. He was denied by one of his most zealous followers. He was mocked. He was crowned with a crown of thorns. He was scourged. He was forced to bear the burden of the cross. He was not insensible to this contempt and ignominy. He submitted, but oh! He felt the bitterness as no other being could feel it. He was pure, holy, and undefiled, yet arranged as a criminal. The adorable Redeemer stepped down from the highest exaltation. Step by step, he humbled himself to die. But what a death. It was the most shameful, the most cruel, the death upon a cross as a malefactor. He did not die as a hero in the eyes of the world, loaded with honors as men in battle. He died as a condemned criminal, suspended between the heavens and the earth, died a lingering death of shame, exposed to the tauntings and revilings of the debased, crime-loaded profligate multitude. All this humiliation of the majesty of heaven was for guilty, condemned man. He went lower and lower in his humiliation until there was no lower depths that he could reach in order to lift man up from his moral defilement. All this was for you.